Hey, welcome back to Living Dayton on this Wednesday. It's always important to take care of our mental health and keep tabs on those around you if they're doing all right, especially after the toll of the pandemic. We caught up with the Dean of the Wright State University Boonshoff School of Medicine on things to look out for and resources available. Well, May is Mental Health Month, so we're excited to welcome Dr. Valerie Weber. Dr. Weber, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you today? I'm well, thank you. So talk to us a little bit about the purpose and history behind May as Mental Health uh, Month. Yeah, so I, it was started in 1949, and it's been around all that time to really increase awareness about mental health connect people with resources to get better and to stay healthy and to eliminate the stigma of mental illness. Yeah, it's so important that people just know it's okay to talk. It's okay to talk about it. But can you, I know it's been a very stressful year for so many people from so many different walks of life. Talk to us a little bit about the effect of COVID-19 on our mental health. It has been. I mean, I don't think that there's been a, a time this stressful you know, for decades, maybe since the last pandemic, you know, people have had a trouble coping. There's been loneliness, there's been economic problems on families, children have been separated from peers and have been, you know, not able to go to school for a time. So it's been a really difficult time. And even when we're not in a pandemic, about one in five Americans will struggle with anxiety or depression. And now during the pandemic, those numbers have doubled. So it's really time to talk about this and, and address it and make sure people get the help um, that they need. And there are great resources out there and tools available for people. And I know that this year's theme is Tools to Thrive. Talk to us about that. Yeah, so Tools to Thrive, It's there's some things that you can do that actually are, are quite simple. First of all, I think disconnecting from social media and not following some of the bad news, you know, eliminating your screen time or at least reducing it and getting outdoors. There's actually a lot of research that shows just getting outside in nature around trees and around water in particular lowers stress and anxiety and improves depression. So those simple things. Some people also suggest that you keep a gratitude log or actually make a list of things at the end of every day that you're thankful for. Some people take a little glass jar and write some of those things down on little pieces of paper, put them in the jar, and then you can take them out and remind yourself on a bad day all the things in your life that you're grateful for. Those are some great ideas that people can, people can do right now. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's talk some resources. If someone is, you know, feeling like they're struggling or they know mm -hmm. a family member or friends or anything like that, what are the resources available to people? Uh, there are a lot of resources in our local area. Uh, one of the newer resources that's been very, very well received during the pandemic is the Ohio Care Line. And uh, if you call that number, you will be um, put in touch with somebody that is a trained listener that also can help you find resources. There's a lot of resources out on the web, the CDC website, the Ohio Mental Health and Addiction Services website. And then you can simply text the word HOME, H-O-M-E, to 741-741 and you can be put in touch with resources that way. I just want to give a shout out too to the Dayton Children's Campaign. They are working hard to help children. This is a national campaign, but Dayton Children's Hospital is fully engaged in it. And uh, you can find information on their website. Um, they gave me this beautiful t-shirt, I Break Stigmas. And that's what it's all about, making sure that people feel empowered to know that this is not an abnormal thing, but it's a very common thing to, and to get the help they need. So there are so many resources available to those that feel like they may just need an extra ear or support. These are some great options mm -hmm. for you. Dr. Weber, thank you so much for your time today.